Okay, so this is my first time vlogging, so don't make fun of me. Um, I'm Kurt Miller, I'm the coordinator for DTEC, but I want to take you on a tour of the DTEC lab, at least what I'm working on. Um, so it's not done yet, but I want to show you, at least we have a lava lamp. Okay, that's something. Um, actually, we have some more than just a lava lamp. So I have some organizers over here. Got those at Lowe's. Those are gonna be loaded with hardware. Power strips down here, um, all types of wire that were donated from a missile manufacturer that moved to Alabama. They graciously donated a bunch of stuff for us. I'll show you some more. Um, I'm putting up a pegboard. Don't really have anything there yet, um, but the next thing that I have that's kind of a gold mine was also donated by the missile company. It's um, a giant tool chest, and I'll show you that right now. Not bad. Um, this thing weighed about a thousand pounds. Uh, luckily I had child labor to help me move this thing. Also admin helped as well. Um, but I've had students basically going through adding labels and then organizing it into kind of logical um, groupings like bits or adhesives which include uh, tape, super glue, things like that. Um, I have a bench vise that's going to go outside. Some more storage that looks like this. I'm storing all my filament in here for now. I don't know if this stuff's going to stay here. Um, you can see also from the missile manufacturer we got all sorts of um, resistors. I don't really know if we're going to use all these but I thought the containers were cool so I grabbed them. Um, some rockets. This is our first 3D printer. This is the MakerBot replicator. Um, replicator 2 actually. And this thing's a workhorse. Uh, it doesn't do the best prints, but I find that it's the most useful for simple prototyping for the students. Desktop computer, this is our 3D printing station. And we have an Airwolf 3D as well. Um, this thing is nice, it prints ABS instead of just PLA like the MakerBot, but it is a lot more finicky and has a bunch more steps. So. My students don't use this one as often just because it takes a lot more work, a lot more steps to get the print actually done. Um, and the ABS I find to be a little bit more finicky. Have our drill press here, haven't really used this yet. Another power strip. Um, another thing that we have, if you look over here, is a number of these nice shelving units. These again came from the missile manufacturer um, that used to be in Camarillo and not very organized yet, but working on it. Um, and then some storage containers as well for all the different hardware. These were donated also. Cool rug in the middle. Last thing I want to show you, last thing I want to show you is outside here. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but this is where our shed's gonna go. This used to be really trashy. There used to be a, a tree kind of in this area, um, but this whole area is gonna be workspace for my students. Once we get the shed, once we get the shed, the CNC machines and the larger equipment are gonna go in there versus in here, because all around we have classes, a lot of AP classes, and they don't really appreciate CNC machines quite like I do. So quick video, thought I'd show you what we have going on so far. Should be improved in the future.